Right, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to again run a an SQL query from a PHP web page. Uh, this time though we're going to return multiple records instead of just one. So I'm going to show you one way of looping through a record set and displaying all the results on your page. So uh, the first thing we need to do is to um, run the query. So I'm just going to paste this in as I did last time. And it's very similar. Uh, again, we're setting up a variable uh, which is going to hold the SQL on it. And in speech marks, here you can see in the red, select everything from news. Now that's referring to the table called news. And again, if I just go back to where are we? The last one I was looking at. Here's my news table, and you can see at the moment there are five records in there of varying quality. Uh, so we're going to return all the results there now. On this one here, actually, I'm going to just change that query, and I'm just going to grab the headline and the author because I'm just going to display that information. So uh, just to quickly go over the script again, uh, on the second line, I run the query using the MySQL underscore query command in PHP. I run the variable I created on line five, and we put the results into this variable here. Then on line seven, we take the results from that variable and using the MySQL fetch associative array uh, command we assign them to a record set which is an associative array which means that we can call each individual bit of data by its label from the table and again to go back in here it means that we can refer to the headlines by headline and it will return this particular column of information. Uh, for author when we refer to author it will give us this information. So anyway uh, back to PHP in the body of the document what we're going to be doing is adding some code so I'll just scroll up a bit um, so what I'm going to do is run a little loop so it's in PHP so I open a tag and I'm going to say do everything after these squiggly brackets until we run out of records so I'm just going to close that off so that opens the loop and uh, the reason I'm closing it off is because I'm going to have some HTML here and I'm just going to have them as just plain paragraph text. So I'm going to have a new paragraph for each record. And in each paragraph, I'm going to echo the headline. So remember, I'm echoing from that associative array in square brackets, apostrophe, headline. Close the square brackets. And then I close off the paragraph. So what that will do is create a new paragraph and display the headline. Um, then the next step is to uh, to end the loop. So on the next line here I'll just open up some more PHP and I close our squiggly bracket. So that means that everything between those squiggly brackets will continue to loop over and over until or while this is true. And what we're saying in, in brackets is what is true. And it's basically what you see up here on line 7. In fact, I'm just going to save myself some time. I'm going to copy that and paste it there and just close off the, uh, the bracket that opened there. So what that's saying is as long as this is true, continue to loop over and over and over. And I'm going to just close that PHP there. So uh, if I save that and test it using F12, that will upload to our testing server and all going well there we go there are the five headlines from my database if I go back to Dreamweaver say I wanted to have the author after this you can see here before the paragraph ends I could the space say by and then I could echo um, the author So now if I save that and test it, we should get the headlines with the author immediately after it. And here it comes. Eventually. There we go. So my first article by Mr. Adams and so on. And that is how we can run a query, grab multiple results and display them using a do while loop.